The price is amazing on these products. It does definitely help. I'm not the biggest fan of. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Alexa and I post new lifestyle and self-growth videos every single week so we can transform into the best versions of ourselves that we can. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing my morning and evening skincare routine with you guys and I'm going to give you a full review on the ordinary products. And I'm not a professional, I'm just saying what works for me, what I like and what I don't like and everyone's skin is different, so I'm sharing what works for my skin. My skin is pretty normal combination skin. In the winter, it does get a little dry. I got the cleanser, the natural moisturizing factors, NHA, the niacinamide 10% and zinc 1%, the caffeine solution 5% and EGCG, the retinol 0.5%, and the organic cold press rosehip seed oil. So if you guys wanna learn a little bit more about these products, my likes, my dislikes, what I recommend, then just keep on watching, we'll hop right on into it. So first up in my morning skincare routine, I go in with the squalene, squalene, is that how you pronounce it? The squalene cleanser. Now some of the reviews I saw were mentioning that squalene is derived from sharks, but this company uses 100% plant-derived squalene and I actually think it's spelled differently as well, don't quote me on that, but I think when it's derived from sharks, it's spelled differently, so this is 100% vegan. So this cleanser isn't my favorite. I find you need quite a lot and it doesn't really remove your makeup that well. For me, the reviews were good on it and everyone mentioned it removing their makeup very well, but I find you need a lot and it still doesn't remove it very well. I use a bar soap as well on my face, which I kind of enjoy a little bit more. It's a natural clay bar that I got at Bulk Barn, but it's not the worst cleanser. It's still pretty good. Like when I'm not wearing makeup, it works perfectly fine. It is moisturizing, which I like. Your skin does feel fairly soft just after using the cleanser, but like I said, you kind of need a lot. caffeine solution under and around my eyes. So far I'm really liking this. It's known to depuff your eyes and help with dark circles. I haven't noticed it helping with the dark circles under my eyes which I do struggle with um, but again I have only been using it two weeks. Uh, it does definitely help with puffiness almost instantly the puffiness is gone. One cool thing about this product is it's in UV protective packaging. So this product, if the sun gets to it, it won't work as well. too heavy and sticky. I find that's something people really look for in products is not like heaviness and stickiness. Next up in my morning skincare routine after the caffeine, I go in with the niacinamide 10% and zinc 1%. Niacinamide is actually vitamin B3 and this helps with brightening your skin and helps with blemishes and congestion. This you want to use before your heavier creams and if you're using anything with vitamin C in it, it can affect the integrity of the vitamin C. I have really been 
My Humans product and lots of you guys actually recommended it to me. It's nice and light. It doesn't feel heavy on your skin. And after my skin feels really like nice and tight and fresh. Baby, this is do or die. Feel it in my veins tonight. Emotional suicide. One thing I do find if you go in with the lotion right after this, the lotion doesn't go on your skin quite as well. But if you wait a little bit, it isn't too bad. Next up in my morning skincare routine, I go in with the 100% organic cold press rosehip seed oil. Another one someone recommended to me. I don't use this every single morning. I have it in my evening skincare routine as well. It's kind of whatever I'm feeling like that day. If I feel like I need double hydration from this, then I'll use it morning and evening, sometimes just in the evening. But today I will use it in my morning skincare routine as well. This product as well is in UV protective packaging, so that's super cool. It's really hydrating. It really makes your skin glowy and feel nice and hydrated. It's not sticky, it's not heavy. Your skin is pretty oily when you put it on, but within 10 minutes it absorbs in really nicely and then you don't really feel it on your skin, you just feel refreshed and hydrated. If you do have oily skin, I probably wouldn't recommend this one because it is so hydrating and oily, but for me it's really great, especially now in the winter time. The process of cold pressing, it helps preserve the quality of the product. And rosehip oil is shown to reduce signs of photo aging. So yeah, I would definitely recommend this if you need some extra hydration in your skin. Lastly, for my morning routine, I go in with the moisturizer, the Natural Moisturizing Factors NHA. I'm really liking this so far. It's not heavy, goes on nice and smooth. Like I said, I find once you use it after the niacinamide, it does kind of leave a little bit of film on your skin, but if you wait a little bit, it, it isn't bad. I do find you have to rub this in a bit more than other moisturizers I've used. Other moisturizers, I would just kind of leave it a bit heavy on my skin and it would absorb. This doesn't, so you do have to work it in a little bit more, but I am really loving it. my morning skincare routine. I'm really loving it and it may sound silly but buying the whole nice set really got me excited to get into a good skincare routine. And now for my evening skincare routine. It does switch up slightly from my morning skincare routine. I do add in the retinol. So first up, I cleanse my face. Again, I either go in with the same cleanser or I use my bar soap from Bulk Barn. If I'm wearing makeup, I find I have to do this twice. In the evening, I go in with the niacinamide and zinc to keep my skin nice and bright and blemish free. I do still get some acne. I am 26 years old and still get somewhat decent amount of acne. So I like to keep up with this for sure. Next up in my evening skincare routine, I go in with the retinol. I got the 0.5% in squalane. <laughs> it does come in 2% and 1 or 0.2% and 1% as well. I just went for the in between, but this can cause irritation to your skin. So if your skin is sensitive, definitely go for the 0.2% or maybe a different option. But I've been using the 0.5 and it's been perfectly fine on my skin, hasn't caused me any irritation. 
but I don't really have sensitive skin. Retinol reduces your skin's fine lines, reduces photo damage and general aging. At 26 years old, I already notice aging. I got fine lines on my forehead, smile lines of course, and around my eyes. So I decided it's time to add this in. It's better to start early. You don't need very much. It goes on really well, nice and light. You have to use this in the evening because you cannot go out in the sun with it on. It does, it can cause damage to your skin and irritate your skin. And again, this one is in the UV protective packaging. I'm guessing all the dark bottles are the UV protective packaging and then this clear bottle is not. You really need so little that this thing is gonna last forever. I believe all these bottles do come in other sizes as well. And then next I go in with the rosehip oil. Like I said, I don't do this every single morning but I do do it every night, nice and hydrating, it'll soak in overnight. To leave it all behind, raise your voice, raise your power, your power, yeah. This is our lesson, to leave it all behind. Last up for my evening skincare routine, I guess not last up because I do go in with a lip balm after every evening. But for the ordinary products, last up, I go in with the Natural Moisturizing Factors NHA again. It helps keep the outer layer of your skin well protected and hydrated. It's made up of multiple amino acids, fatty acids, hydrolonic acids, and many other compounds that are naturally present in your skin. So it's nice and hydrating and good for your skin. I've got a premonition, I'm dreaming you and I On the darkest fears are coming outside And then finally, I struggle to open my lip balm when my hands are all greasy But I go in with the Vaseline Lip Therapy Cocoa Butter I by your side Call me whenever you need someone, babe And when you need to escape from a thousand fights I'm gonna kiss you wherever you are so to sum it all up, I would definitely recommend these ordinary products to you guys. I'm loving everything. Like I said, except for the cleanser, I'm not the biggest fan of. And like I said, the moisturizer, I do find you have to rub it in a bit more, but that doesn't bother me too much. I do find the products very great. Everything is filled up right to the top. It's going to last me forever. The only thing I find I need a lot of is the cleanser. The price is amazing on these products. I love that they're affordable, vegan, made in Canada, all of those good things at such a good price. It's amazing. So I'd say like 9.5 out of 10 recommend only because of the cleanser. But like I said, there's tons of reviews on the cleanser and people love it. So maybe you guys will love it as well. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have tried the ordinary products, what products you like, what products I should try, and I hope this video was informative for you guys, and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed, and I will see you guys soon.